Hello everyone, I'm Katie Roche and I'm the Development Director for the Englert Theatre and we're up in the balcony of the Englert today and I'm sitting down with Joshua Holden mm -hmm. and his soulmate, Mr. Nicholas. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Yes, thank you for having us. So you. you are the performers in a show called The Joshua Show, mm -hmm. which is your creation. Yep. And you're kicking off the Englert Family Series, mm -hmm. which um, is in its second season. And I thought we'd start with just a little, a little bit about The Joshua Show, um, how you created it, and what it's all about. Mm. You should take this one. OK, I will. Um, so The Joshua Show was created um, on March 5th, 2012. Mm -hmm. uh, in Chicago, Illinois, and it was a little 10-minute um, piece that I created for something called a puppet slam. Remember that? Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was supposed to be just a one-off little evening thing, and it went so well that people assumed that we had a larger work. Isn't that right? Yes. And then what happened? And then um, we expanded the show to a full-length piece, and we were invited to the Puppeteers of America's National Festival. Mm -hmm. wow. And what happened there? We won best performance and were voted fan favorite. That's right. That was so exciting, wasn't it? Yes, it was. And now what are we doing? We are touring all over the country with this wonderful show. Yeah? And are you excited to be here in, in Iowa? Oh, yes, Iowa, where dreams come true, as they say. <laughs> yes, yeah, that is what they say, isn't it? <laughs> Have you been to Iowa before? Have you been to Iowa before? No, I've never. This is my maiden voyage in Iowa. <laughs> yes, and it is my maiden voyage in Iowa, too. Well, welcome. Yeah, thank you. We're really Thanks. honored to, to have you here. This was originally a vaudeville theater, and when people write about your show, they often describe it as having a little bit of a vaudeville mm -hmm. feel. So. Very much so. So what is the show like? What is the show like? <laughs> it is a combination of... Um, it, fe it feels very much like a classic children's television show. Um, and it centers around the word authenticity and the importance of being true to yourself. Isn't that right, Mr. Nicholas? Yes, it's a very valuable lesson. Yes, it is. Please tell me that there's a cure for this dreaded condition. No, Mr. Nicholas, there's no cure because there's nothing wrong with you. You are an authentic sock puppet and you should be proud of that. I don't want to be a sock puppet. They're singing and dancing and uh, just a lot of wholesome, entertainment and uh, it's a really important to me that I create entertainment that is accessible to both kids and adults. Um, so I, I basically build the shows for an adult audience with children in mind and I find that that is the success of what we're doing right now because I think parents get really jazzed as well as their kids. I think that's really important because parents are less likely to want to take their children to programming for children mm -hmm. if they're already feeling like they're not going to enjoy yes. it. I mean, I, I won't name names, but there's been some events that mm -hmm. I've gone to that I've I've really felt like I'm just like sitting through torture. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, you're missing a great opportunity, aren't you? You have all these adults in the room and there's no reason why you shouldn't entertain them and they deserve it even more than the children, don't you think? I completely agree. Mm -hmm. And I think then you walk out of the room uh, with something to talk about with your children. Mm -hmm. It sticks with everybody, yep. and that's the stuff you talk about at dinner and yeah. at breakfast, and, yep. and, uh, and it, it just becomes a part, of, yeah. a part of your family's memories. And, and it's nice if you can really affect parents and the kids at the same time. So you're not only teaching lessons to kids, that you're also reminding parents of like, oh yeah, what do I want out of life, and who am I? Or, oh yeah, it is really important to be polite. I can, I can be reminded of that. And if you express that, or if you, teach that in a really accessible way that's not like, hey boys and girls, we're going to talk about being polite today. It just, it shuts the adults off and I think it's, there's no reason to talk down to kids like that because they're way smarter than that. Well, I always tell my kids they're smarter than we are because yeah. we're constantly learning oh, from yes, them. Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we lose something that the kids have, like this beautiful freedom to just be and express yourself in really wonderful ways and we lose that along the way. I, I find that really inspiring. Yes, I love that too, yes. Well, one of the ways we've been trying to describe the Englert Family Series is, is that it's a, a place to have an authentic experience. So mm. you were the perfect fit for yes. the beginning of the series. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yes, it is great. So, Mr. Nicholas, I wanted to ask you a question because we've got mm. some other shows in this oh. series. Okay. And, and I want to describe them to you and I want to see 
which one would be most appealing to you if oh, you could pick one right. to come to? And I realize you probably won't be here for them, but if you want to come back, let me know. Okay, great. Okay, great. okay so on Wednesday, February 4th, 2015, mm -hmm. we have the Peking Acrobats. The, the, Peking, the Peking Acrobats? Pe Peking Acrobats. The Peking Acrobats. So okay. um, they're mm. experts at trick cycling, precision tumbling, somersaulting, Whoa. and gymnastics, Whoa, and they baby. can defy gravity. Whoa. Well, that sounds very exciting. Okay. Okay, so okay. that's that's one. Okay. Mm -hmm. La Maleta is on Friday, February twenty seventh, and um, this is a piece of Spanish language programming, oh. and um, it gives a voice to young people mm. struggling in a new language and helps them, helps us all to hear them. Mm. So it's a journey of a little girl going mm, to a new that place. Sounds nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. That sounds nice. Mm -hmm. And then we have The Adventures of Robin Hood oh. on Tuesday, April 28th. Now, everybody knows that story, but this everybody is performed by just two actors, and um, they kind of take a silly and unexpected turn on it. And we've actually had this troupe here before, and they play all the characters, cool. and they trade places. So, okay, so your choices Does were... Does that sound like fun? Picking mm. Acrobats on February okay. 4th, mm. La Maleta on February 27th, or Robin Hood on April 28th. Oh God. Can it's I a pick all three? No, no, you should just pick one. Okay. Um, well, I think I'd pick the Peking Acrobats. <gasps> oh yeah? Why is that? Well, um, I don't know. I just I, I love seeing people using their bodies in ways that is something really exciting and inspires me to I don't know maybe take up flipping or jumping or, or, or is that can you can you be a flipper and jumper? I, I, I suppose I call an acrobat. Oh yes, yes, acrobatics. Yes, I find acrobatics very inspiring. Yes, it sounds good. I, the Peking Acrobats, yes. Wow, yeah, I, mm. I think that one's going to be <laughs> really exciting for all the kids. And it's a huge troupe that comes in here. They use up our entire, all of our dressing rooms downstairs <gasps> and then some. Oh. I, I don't know how many people it is, but it, I don't know. I'm thinking like 20 or 30 <gasps> people in the troupe. Oh, can we please come back? Well, maybe. Maybe if we're, if we're not busy, that would be fun. Oh, please, please, I would love that. Okay, all right. If, if, we're, if we're not busy, you and I will come back to Iowa. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so uh, you're, you're on the road right mm -hmm. now. Yep. You're traveling around. Yep. Um, how long of a tour is this? Where are you going? Um, so after this, tomorrow we go back to Chicago. And Mr. Nicholas and I are teaching some workshops at the Chicago's International Puppet Festival. And we're performing our show next weekend which is sold out, just like we are here at Yay. the Anglet Theater, which is so exciting. Um, and <laughs> then after that, we have a little break. Um, and in March, we go off to, where do we go? We're going to the Center for Puppetry Arts in Atlanta, Georgia. That's right, Ooh. for 14 shows, which is Whoa. really exciting, isn't That's it? That's a long mm -hmm. run. Yeah, it is, a week long. He's going to be working me like a dog. Yes, I, I certainly <laughs> will be, won't I? <laughs> but he pays me very handsomely. <laughs> it's true. It's very true. Well, and Mr. Nicholas, I kind of hear that you're the, the main draw to the show. Oh, of course, darling. Yes, yes, yes. It's nice of you to bring along the rest of the group oh, with thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes, I, um, I express a lot of my feelings in this show, which is not really my favorite thing to do, but um, that's the theater, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is the theater. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I just want to thank you both for, oh. for kicking off our the second edition of our family yes. series. And we're so excited that it's sold out good. and that um, that all the kids are going to get to to enjoy your show today. Good, good, good. We are so pumped to be here, aren't we? Yes, we are. This has been thebomb.com. Yes, that's your new Ooh. favorite phrase, isn't it? Yes, it is. I love it. Ooh, you, did you coin that? Did I coin it? Um, I think someone might have said it before you, but it can be your signature phrase if you want. Yes, it's my new signature phrase. And Katie, you have also been the bomb.com. Oh my gosh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> well, this has been the bomb.com. <gasps> <laughs> Sitting down with Joshua and Mr. Nicholas. Thank you so much and um, safe travels. Thank you. And uh, everybody uh, in the Iowa City area, I encourage you to check out the Englert Family series. Mm -hmm. um, we have package tickets available, and there's just a, a lot of really great events, and, uh, and we hope you can join us. Thanks for watching. Thanks again. Thank you. <laughs> Are we finished? <laughs> I think so. Oh, good. Thank God. Oh, good. It's a little warm up oh, here. It's very <laughs> warm up here. He's sweating like a dog inside of me. <laughs> yes, I know. All right. You ready to go back in? Yes. Nice to meet you. Oh, it was so lovely. Thank yes. you. Thank you. <laughs>
You're watching City Channel 4. On TV, online, on demand, on Facebook, and now on the go on your mobile device.